Hey guys, Golden here, and welcome to another Magic video. So, today we're going to be playing some Wednesday Brawl. So, when I'm recording this is Wednesday, it's probably going to come out on Thursday, so I'm sorry you can't play it today unless you signed up for the Brawlers Guild. But, if you want to pull it out next week, if you like Brawl, uh, this is a really fun list. I played it last set, um, and it performed really well for me. I'm gonna bring, I brought it back this set, but we also added in some of the new cards as well, obviously, uh, that, are, that are powerful that came out in uh, white green. Um, didn't realize until I started recording this, but I'm dressed to match today, so there's always that consistency. But I'm not going to go through the whole deck. I'm just going to go through a couple of the little things in the overall game plan here. There's too many cards to go through every one, but we have our normal white green tokens build, uh, all the fun white greens tokens cards that we have um had for a long time and then i added in some of the new uh the strong cards that came out this set birth of Miletus, um banishing light so some of the some of the strong green white cards uh this deck however also ramps into a pretty nasty top end so this is where the deck gets fun on the top end we have uh, Cavalier of Dawn, we have Divine Visitation, because what are tokens without Divine Viz? Uh, God Eternal Oketra. We have Nyssa. We have the Harmonious Archon. We also have the Archon of Sun's Grace. So we have some fun top-end cards that if we can ramp early, we can play them. That synergize really well with our token build here as well. So we'll jump right into gameplay. Um, I'm really excited to play this. I, I haven't played Brawl in a couple weeks, so I'm... Oh, we get matched up right away. All right. So, Scarecrow's Helper. Playing some Rankle. Should be interesting. Looks like a solid solid start. Uh, we don't have any ramp for the Questing Beast in Nyssa, and we only have one green. So, our, our lands are a little bit lacking, but we have the Tithe Taker for early. We have Amara, obviously, and we have three lands. All right, we have the glass casket, so we have a little bit of removal. Um, I'm, I mean, I might as well just start off with Amara. I mean, he is playing black, so he probably has removal, but I'm gonna just start off with Amara. One of the benefits of playing a two mana planes or two mana um, commander is you don't really have to worry quite as much about um, about removal because it doesn't get that expensive. Whereas if you're running even a four mana or a five mana like Nikki B, uh, you don't want it to get removed. So Amara, you can kind of sacrifice one or two times and it's not that big of a deal. So let's see, what do we want to do here? We can take out the Piper. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't have a ton of, I might not have a ton of opportunities to use Glass Casket with the three or less claws. So I might as well make some use of it now. Get a token out of it. Arch of the Sun's Grace. We'll see how this does. There are obviously a lot of enchantments in both green and white. So, it should, ooh, we missed our land drop. We go into the attack phase, see if he takes out Amara. He does. Put her in the command. Drop the Tithe Taker. Would have been nice to hit the land drop, so hopefully we don't miss another one. That could put us way behind the eight ball here, especially with uh, Nissa and Divine Visitation in hand. Okay, we get that. We don't have the double green, but we do have the Archon at least. We could go back to Amara again. Um... I'm going to put the flyer out, mostly because um, that's a pretty strong card against Amara right now. So I would like to hit some removal. Obviously, just another green mana and just to get Ness out is, is good. Um, he has a lot of black removal, I'm, I'm assuming, so Nissa might not stick to the board very long, but at least if we can get her out. That puts a lot more pressure on him. Doom Whisperer, alright. So, removal. We're getting lands. Unfortunately, we're not getting the lands that we need. Um, 
Get divine visitation down. Triggers. Look at that synergy. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful thing to behold. All right, so uh, we're not going to attack here, obviously, but I'm just thinking of my next move. So we have unbreakable formation, which will be strong next turn. I would like to hit maybe some enchantment removal. Like Banishing Light or something of that nature to get rid of this Doom Whisper, uh, because we'll have a lot of lot coming through the air if we can get rid of their flying threats I could double block here but I don't want to lose the arch and so I'm just gonna take the damage this turn Ooh. does it take everything yeah it definitely takes everything out that's not fun Okay, could be worse, right? He resets the board. Let's see, Knight of Autumn. Doesn't have any artifacts or enchantments, unfortunately. So we're, we're gonna get the Mara down again. So now when Amara is tapped, assuming it ever survives. Let's see what he decides to do here. Let's see if he decides to make me sack Amara. All right, so what do we discard? I think I'm just going to, I mean, right now, I'm going to discard Questing Beast because I don't know if I can afford to keep it, just in case. We might need the life on this and the blocker, to tell you the truth. So I'm going to get rid of the Questing Beast because I don't have the mana to cast it. Does decide to sack. good so not hitting that double green is really what killed us here well I think we might be a little bit too little too late but at least we can get the double green out here but he's gonna make a sack pretty much our entire hand so it might not matter So unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, Let me pick your missing brain. the land drops there killed us. So we do have a couple outs. I mean, we are at six mana with two green. Um, we do have some cards that can help, but it's not looking good. Struggling. Paradise Jewel is not. All right, that's game. Let's go to the next one. Not a good start, but we'll see. I have faith. Said this deck, you can see how, how powerful this deck could have gotten had we have drawn a little bit better and hit the land drops we needed. We would have been able to get Nissa down, which would have ramped, which would have got us some more attackers. But he hit he hit the cards he needed for sure. We, hitting that uh, Massacre Girl was big for him, being able to clear the board. Alright, let's see what we got. Again, low on lands, but um, sand is good. I'm gonna maul again. Need to get the, okay, we got the lands. Again, just getting up there to Nissa, but the difference this time is we do have Beanstalk Giant, which helps us a lot. I'm gonna start out with Fable Passage just because we don't have. We don't have any tap lands in hand anyways, so we might as well, or anything to play this turn. We're gonna get out green for Nyssa. Actually, let me see. Yeah, we'll just... Get out green for Nyssa. Not that that really matters here, but... Oh, 
this deck. Ugh. I actually played with this deck, so I can't say anything, but it's a bitch. Bring it back to my hand, because I put it in the command zone. It actually, it gets countered, so... Take this opportunity to... What am I going to do? I can ramp. And get Amara back down, actually. Basically did that because... I wanted to take the opportunity with this deck. I might not have too many chances to play very many cards, so... Might get bounced again. Ah, okay. That's, that's good. He used it now, which is good. That's one of his m major win conditions there. So now I have four mana. Um, gotta be careful because he does have some nasty board clears we're gonna use this probably to get rid of an enchantment at some point yeah we're gonna we're gonna ramp. Do I need white mana here? No, because I'm gonna just put down Reese anyways. So let's get as many forests as I can. Oh, that's nice. All right, so this is an easy questing beast. Take out the fairy. You can probably recast the fairy next turn, but Let's see, Let's see if he whiffs again. No, he doesn't whiff this time. He gets uh, shit. It only takes out one of my creatures. Could have been worse. Takes out questing beast, and that's it. So that could have been way worse. Um, and we have the opportunity now to play Nissa. Hard draw, so I might as well. All right, so Let's see. So untapping with Nissa will be big. Okay, he hits the land. But gives me an opportunity to untap with Nissa, so this is going to be fun. It's fine. So we have Divine Visitation and Raise the Alarm. As long as we do this right. Is it necessary for me to take out to ferry here? I 
I could just take out Teferi. We're going to do that just because I need to make sure that... Um, it's going to... Okay. Not sure why I did that. I guess he's going to just wipe the board now. So we can make a token. We have four mana. And again, it's going to turn into a 4-4. Four, four. So if he has... Let's see if he has a board clear here. But he's going to have to do it on his phase now that he doesn't have Teferi. So that's why I wanted to take out Teferi. Because otherwise he could have plus Teferi. Waited until I uh, played more creatures on the board. And um, wiped me on my turn with... Um... Can't think of it. Well, that would have been one of them. I'm going to do this just because I have nothing else to do with my life. Just to, just to show off. Okay, so he plays his board clear, but he plays in his main phase. So now... Ooh, Cavalier of Dawn. Let me see. What's our best bet here? Just put down... Amara, but I can't tap Amara, unfortunately. Could just put down Beanstalk Giant. It's not the worst play. Can I, I can't do, can I do Cavalier? Let me see. No. Behold, I had to do it like that because I had to float the mana. Unless I was mistaken. See if he has another board clear. It's only, what, 19 cards into his deck? into a harmless 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to take out the enchantment. So that's hexproof, but the enchantment is not hexproof. Don't need to necessarily do it this right this second. Nah. So at least he won't tap me. Do that. Fortunately, that gets in the way. But next turn, we can turn it into a 3-3 and just start slamming him. I don't want to sack my lands just yet. He might blow me up anyways, but... <laughs> Messed up. I could have done that. Alright, that's alright. Came in for a lot more damage. Oh, that's not good. All right, I just gotta hope he didn't draw another board clear, because that hurts me. I mean, luckily I can put God of Ketra back in and then kind of plan for it. All right, that's fine. All right, 
right, we're just gonna go ham this turn. We get the arching down. Turn that into a 3-3. Three, three. Attack all. We're gonna lose Amara, but I'm okay with that. We win. That's it. Look at that. That's a beautiful sight. All right, let's play one more. See if we can do that again. That looks look like solid, solid start. Get the incubation druid down on two. We'll save Amara for now. Let's see what we're up against. I mean, we know what we're up against, but. Can't say this is the best matchup for us. Okay, that's good. So yeah, this isn't necessarily the best matchup for us. Gonna get white mana. We only have a handful of cards that will deal with this, but if we do draw into it, it's not bad because it is expensive. He ramps as well. Shadow Sphere. Okay, so we're going to take out the Paradise Druid here. Drop the Knight of Autumn. Yeah, we're gonna take out that Shadow Spear. So we got a nice wide board now. So now we just need. Unfortunately, now we, we're kind of stuck. We could adapt the Paradise Druid here. Because that will let's see if we adapt the Paradise Druid, we can't. We could flash this in, but I kind of want to wait until after this. So now we are, we're flying. It's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. He's gonna, that's going to turn into a 14-14 next turn. Alright. Shit. <laughs> At least we have chump blockers. So there's that. Adapt the uh, incubation druid and then omen of the sun. I just want to wait and see what he ends up doing. This is the, pretty much the only thing that's keeping us in it right now. Obviously, we have stuff that will be able to take this out, but uh, okay. Don't I hate when 
does that. Little tip, prepare to incubation druid always wants to tap itself. <laughs> Flash that in now just so we can get the uh, the trigger off of the Archon. So, we'll see what he has. See if he has a uh, board clear. Obviously, there's a couple black board clears in there that will wreck us right now. So I mean, real realistically, as long as he can't doesn't give this trample, I mean he can start using this to fight other creatures. I need something to take that out. That's really what I need. Yep. Because he's just gonna start crushing me. I need. Uh, I'm gonna need to scry next turn. At least he allows me to tack in, create another blocker. So I'll get to scry. I can fix this at least. I'm blocking him out. I mean, he's gonna. You he might take out Amara. I have enough mana though that, that doesn't really matter. If he keeps attacking. I'll probably win. Okay, so he, he uses up all of his mana for that. Let's see if he draws a land. Oh, ha, ha, I forgot that card existed in Brawl. Alright, let's... Uh, Divine Visitation, does that even do anything? Nissa barely even does anything. Um, eh, I guess Divine Visitation does. I'm actually going to drop that first because Amara can create angels if I can, um, if he allow, if he attacks this turn. Especially if he attacks with, well, no, he'll be able to keep Beanstalk Giant back, so I might not be able to, but I do want to get Divine Visitation down. Next turn on Nissa, I will actually attack with Amara, so that way I can I'll be able to Nissa attack with Amara, create an angel, replay Amara. Forty forty. If he gives that thing trample, oh no, he murders Riders Amara. Okay, that 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 kind of stalls me one turn with that. Just to, just to uh, keep it safe. Oh, I should have attacked at least with the arch in my. That was a mistake. I forgot. Eighty eighty. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. So I'm probably never going to be able to attack with Amara. I need to take this thing out. Well, 
It might be, a, it's probably a little too late for that. That would have been nice like 37 turns ago. Hey, at least it only is a 75-75, right? I guess he puts that down just in case I, I kill that 75-75. Who's for Nyssa? It's not really much I can do at this point. It's game. All right, we're not gonna end like that. We're gonna do one more. All right, element. Playing Ashiok. Okay, that's that's solid. Reese the Redeemed out turn one. Next turn will go Amara. We have Tristani, which is amazing. Inspired Charge, which if we start pumping out tokens beforehand, also amazing. Divine Visitation. And he's playing blue-black. Liking our odds. Now we need to start hitting more lands. Obviously, we need we want to get to five. Five, five is the luck. Is the uh, uh, five is the number we're looking for here. It's that. It's a human. I'm gonna keep Knight of Autumn in hand just in case and we're just gonna make another token with Reese. Ah, oh, this this delinquent. Okay, so we could just unbreakable formation, get our thingies up, allow us to attack, or, or we can wait. We obviously missed our land drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can make four more tokens, five more tokens with the tap from Mara, and then we'll unbreak and breakable formation next turn. No attacks. Hasn't noticed yet. Wait till his turn for this. Maybe he should have did it on my turn just while he was tapped out, but it doesn't look like he's playing counters, he's playing mill. All right, so now we're kind of in trouble, but we're gonna just do this now. Seven. Perfect. Doesn't matter. Okay, 
so we make a ton of tokens. So we'll run breakable formation next turn. Okay, we could inspire a charge, but I would rather get the indestructible for, Imar for Amara. So if I get one more, we can Tristani. This puts tokens on it also. This is better as our as our finale. Start doing damage. So I have 10 damage coming in right now. And he would lose one of the petitioners to also if he decides to block off Amara. Next turn. Next turn, we either have Tristani. Not sure why he double blocked Reese. Doesn't die, it has, has indestructible. Oh, there goes our deck. Should be able to. Perfect. We should be able to win next turn anyway, so it shouldn't matter. We'll see what all he puts down. Um, I think there's another. Okay. Okay, so Inspired Charge does how much damage? Let's do math. So he's six. I, I can get through with three. So that's two... That's going to be 4, 8, 12. So I think that's game. Whatever. Math is for blockers. It's not game. He's losing all his petitioners. So that's pretty fine with me. And then I have Tristani as a backup plan. Yeah, I'm getting through for... Yeah. Alright, that's... That's game. Getting through for 12. Tokens doing what Tokens does best. Sweet. All right. We ended on a win. Perfect. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, hope, hopefully you enjoyed the, the Brawl deck. You can play around with some different formats. Uh, we'll, next video, we'll be getting into some uh, more competitive style decks. Uh, and so I'm excited to climb up to Mythic this, this next season. So um, I'll see you next time.